they're, they're, you know, they're captured or not captured, they make it a thing. Alright. Now, um, so we, we basically touched on this earlier. Um, we should, you know, because of pet overpopulation, uh, most, uh, most animals uh, should be uh, stayed or is that you, you use uh, population control, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, what else, uh, what else are we, uh, yeah. Animals, uh, like dogs, uh, they need to be, you know, given exercise every single day. You know, so if, if you're not walking your dog every day, then you're kind of doing a disservice, all right? <laughs> and, and uh, you know, Perhaps, like if you had a pet hamster, uh, you, they would need a, uh, a wheel to exercise around and things like that. So, um, yeah. All right. Okay. So, anybody have any questions at all? So you've been asking them all as they go. All right. Okay. Sounds. I'm not a technical guy, so if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, but first, I'm going to need you guys to think about some animals that you might see in the woods, okay? Or in the park. Or in, the, or in their own backyard. you gotta, you got to use your imagination and pretend that you are one of those animals. Yes? Okay, but you got to keep it to yourself for now. Keep it in your head, please. Keep it in your head, alright? And, you know, they could be anything, right? Okay, so. Close your eyes and uh, pretend that you're an animal. Uh, I was in Mopal 
trolls I came across at Full Bears. Uh, I'm sure uh, once in a while, uh, if you wander into the, the deep woods at the wrong time of the day, you might, you might see it. You might become the flint. Well, it doesn't work. Yeah. They, it is possible, but it's, it's rare. Because these bears that I saw, they saw me and they ran away. Or maybe because I'm being scary, I don't know. Uh, bears are naturally afraid of you. They will yeah. only attack you if they feel threatened. So, if you see a bear come, get it. Yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> what? Mama bears don't know. Exactly. So, um, so, yeah, so, so imagining uh, how the animal spelled is part of empathy as well. <laughs> All right. Um, People who are uh, concerned about animals show up by trying to protect them. Uh, that empathy is helpful because animals cannot tell us how they feel. Uh, to, you, um, be kind to nature. Um, if you see plastic bags, you know, some, some animals will try to eat those plastic bags. So it's important that you clean up after yourselves. Okay? Uh, you know, you gotta put it into the. Uh, to the right uh, you know, place. And there's usually garbage cans or whatever you gotta make sure that um, okay. Um, balloons. Balloons, uh, they're eaten by birds and everything like that. And right. small animals. And they cause uh, blockages in their stomach and thread. So you gotta make sure that you know if you have a party in the woods or wherever that uh, you don't you don't leave your balloons around, <laughs> okay? Um, fishing line, that gets caught up with birds as well. They, uh, they get tangled up, okay, and that hurts them. Um, yes? What if you have a piece of fishing line, and then the fishing line got snagged? Did it get snagged? And it has a piece of very good insect on it, as a bait. Well, you gotta make sure that, you know, if, if you gotta do whatever you can to, to pick it up afterwards, right? Like you can't just leave it on the rock. Um, my dad taught me how to snorkel, and um, once my brother lost a lure, and I went down and got it. You went down and got it. Yeah, also, even if it isn't ours, we can always find it and take it. Like once I found one that's a little tangled in the FMV line, my dad just pulled it out because I can't like dive fifty feet down. It was around this big and silver with dots in it, like half. Goldish half silver with dots. My dad said it would have been like maybe 20 or 30 bucks. Right. So, yeah. Ooh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, plastic six pack holders. You gotta make sure you gotta pick those up. Um, I know you guys don't drink here, obviously, but your parents might. So, sometimes parents, um, they're not as careful as, as you kids, you know, they're not as diligent. You know, so you, as scouts, you gotta be, you know, proactive in that area, right? Um, so they, yeah, they get caught in the heads of ducks and, and gulls. And, yes. Yeah, yeah, cut them with scissors. Uh, yeah. You know, that's a good, that's a good uh, suggestion. You know. And also, uh, you know, um, uh, batteries. They leak uh, toxic substances, and they should be disposed of properly at toxic waste of depots. Um, yes? I think batteries contain, big car batteries contain lead and some, some sort of acid. Right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, you should definitely make sure that they don't, you know, leak into the environment at all. We let them in right? I, I can really collect them. Okay. I have all of them. <laughs> Um, battery operated devices, uh, you know, you should use rechargeable batteries as often as you can, all right? Um, that's okay, so what do you guys, what is your guys' definition of empathy? Tell me. I don't know. I don't, don't know. even know what empathy is. I just, yeah. It's just been described <laughs> <to> you. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, Feeling and it basically acting accordingly. If you're really angry, sort of like steering clear until like maybe the right spot or something. Or 
or maybe um, if they're really sad, they use something to cheer them up. Right. This guy is the only kid that paid attention. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. He's the yeah. gold star student. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. But, yeah. Is anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> Okay, so We're at 25 minutes. 25 minutes, alright. We're so, 26 okay. actually. Mm -hmm. Does everybody know what the SPCA stands for? Yeah. Animals. Yeah. Animals. Yeah. Okay, it's very close. You're very close. But no one else even tried, so you get bored. I think Luca should get an extra two chocolate bars. So what does the SPCA do? Protect animals.
about rabbits is that they're very high maintenance, okay? Now, uh, you don't want to give them to a kid like your age because, uh, you know, they, they, need, they need, like, their exercise and stuff like that. And they, need, they need a whole bunch of things. But, um, you know, they need, uh, they need to be trained properly, yes? Snakes and pigs. Snakes and pigs. No, I'm saying that's a good Don't think so. Yeah. That's a fine animal. Any animal will need a pal. Okay, that's a good answer. Yeah. Um, they can help dogs, cats, um, rabbits. that is part of uh, the wildlife is considered part of the wildlife act and we're not really supposed to interfere uh, with them too much so um, but uh, the list that I have is, is uh, some of our already been mentioned cats dogs rabbits uh, guinea pigs okay oh yeah that's one of them that was so yeah. cute ferrets oh, yeah. alright like hamsters like gerbils uh, rats some people keep rats as pets too okay. um Mice, lizards, budgies, cockatiels. Budgies are kind of like a, they're a bird. Yes. Uh, turtles, chickens, horses, cows, pigs. Uh, yeah. So, yes? Ducks. Ducks. Mm. No. I, I don't know about ducks. I'm not sure. They, they're, it depends on, because they're more of a but I mean, I did see, when I was patrolling in Miami actually, I did see, it was funny. Um,